Thank you, Robert. So if you don't mind staying on, we had a couple questions in the chat. Um, so our, our first question, and, and by the way, if you guys have more questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat. We've got our, our little group here. So our first question, how do you adapt the traditional requirements process to an agile and continuous development and deployment model? I think I can take that one, Amanda. Uh, I think number one is you got to demonstrate the art of the possible. Uh, it's 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 not easy. Uh, requirement. I used to do requirements analysis, or at least participate in those requirements gathering sessions for capabilities that were supposed to be delivered five to ten years later. Um, the problem is, is the requirements change. Uh, they change, you know, daily, weekly, monthly. Uh, in VMware, if we spent months doing requirements analysis uh, or years in requirements analysis, we wouldn't exist today. Um, I'd say talk with your users, uh, talk with your, your stakeholders, uh, assign a product management, a manager above your teams, um, and then conduct small experiments to balance those two, uh, those two kind of competing fractions sometimes. Um, and then, you know, try something different and start delivering value. Uh, when users and stakeholders see value delivered daily, monthly, uh, things things change a little bit. Um, but it, it is tough to get away from the legacy requirements analysis that the government uh, placed upon itself. So another question, and Aaron, I might throw this back to you. It's, it's kind of a, a similar one, which is how do you get people away from that usual quote, like we don't know what the future of war looks like or the or the future looks like in general and get them to focus on making incremental improvements of what we know today. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the leadership education. <laughs> you know, once again, uh, you know, software done right can scale very easily. Uh, get something into production, build it, uh, you know, cloud native, uh, you know, using 12 factors and you can scale it up to what's needed tomorrow. Um, a lot of the apps, you know, you built today are gonna change. Uh, years on the road and it, it, it can scale very, very easily. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it takes a lot of leadership and ed education and then, uh, you know, demonstrating what, what right looks like. All right, well, thank you. We will hand it over to uh, Pat and Chris now to wrap up the day. Thank you. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks everyone for attending. Uh, thank you for spending time with us. To summarize the day, Craig McClucky talked about how we can drive immutable infrastructure with Kubernetes using APIs for infrastructure. Fantastic talk. And then the Army showed us their road to software factory at the Army Futures Command. And then we had uh, Colonel Aaron Swain show us the three steps to transformation he learned in the military and now in his role at VMware. And lastly, we covered making enterprise Kubernetes valuable with Robert Van Voorhees. So thank you so much for the time today. Up to you, Pat. Great, thank you, Chris. And thank you everybody for joining. Uh, we really appreciate uh, you taking the time from your very, very busy days and to attend and participate with us today. Uh, we really hope the information shared uh, helps you begin a process of building a good DevSecOps strategy. Uh, if you have questions from today, just feel free to reach out to your account exec, whoever sent you the invite, or anyone on the VMware team. Uh, tomorrow, we'll share some really incredible stories from the FAA, uh, United States Space Force, and it's always super exciting to hear these real success stories. So remember, it's, it's outcomes that matter. Uh, nothing is real unless it's in prod. And here at this organization, we all like to say that we are proud to serve those who protect, serve, and educate. Uh, we start back up tomorrow at one o'clock. And we look forward to seeing you again. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks again.